Oh, check, hello. Everyone in the back can hear me, right? I'm gonna get back here, avoid that feedback I'm hearing a little bit. Excuse me, guys. So welcome uh, to Texas Folk Life's Taco Tuesday event. Uh, first time doing this event, thank you all for coming. Uh, incredible to see such a great uh, turnout here. I wanted to kick things off, say hello. My name is Charlie Lockwood. I'm the executive director at Texas Folk Life. And we are, if you don't know much about us already, although I see a lot of familiar faces that do know us, we are a statewide uh, nonprofit organization. We're based mostly in Austin, but we do now have some folks here in North Texas area. We do work across the state of Texas. And our uh, job is really to support and promote folk and traditional arts and community cultural heritage and the music traditions of across our state for many different communities. And we've done this work for many years. It's actually our 38th year in existence. We were founded in 1984. We have our 40th anniversary coming up in a couple of years. Um, but we're trying something uh, new here. We're trying to kick off a series of three events, um, starting with this one. This one's all about music and cultural heritage. So this is kind of celebrating the programs that Texas Folk Life does to support music, traditional arts, uh, and that kind of performance. So we have uh, great lineup this evening you'll be able to hear from some of our uh, collaborators that have participated in uh, many of Texas Folk Life's programs over the years including our apprenticeship program uh, where we give an award to a mentor artist to train anyone in a folk life discipline across the state we also uh, have for many years been doing a statewide youth accordion contest uh, we were lucky tonight to have two former winners of that uh, program joining us that will be playing a little bit later um, but I wanted to kind of kick things off here with a special presentation. Um, we're so lucky to have uh, members of our team and board here uh, today, so I want to introduce uh, Alicia Oliver. Come on up, who's a, our deputy director. We have Mr. Tom Ellis, who's a member of our board, to come up. And then uh, our another staff member in the back who you probably already met, Maya williams Britton, is here with us. And we wanted to... Uh, do a special little presentation here. Let's see if I can get this feedback under control for you guys here. Why don't you yeah, come down here, I'll try to get the mic working. Give me one second to take the volume down. How's this? Good. Um, so I am Dr. Amy Oliver, as Charlie mentioned, the Deputy Director for Texas Folk Life. And as we get started, um, just want to call Maya up Come on up, Maya. We have a special uh, presentation for Maya. She celebrated her five-year work anniversary with Texas Folk Life. And so we had a, a little virtual kind of get together, but we wanted to present something to you, Maya. And just thank you for all of your hard work, everything that you do behind the scenes just to keep us running. Um, I will give this to our board member, Tom. Let him say a few words, put him on the spot. Before that, Maya, congratulations. <laughs> it's great to see all of you here. Um, this is a, a long delayed event. We had actually started planning for this before the dreaded COVID struck us down. And uh, it's taken us a couple of years to start this, this up. But I've been on the board uh, of the organization now for a few years. And uh, what we do across the state is really, it's really impressive. And this whole concept of uh, contributing to the consistency of performing, of the performing arts here, as well as the visual arts, pottery, and those kind of things. We're involved in a lot of different different areas, and uh, it's it's really a pretty fantastic organization. So hopefully we'll have we'll have a couple more events here in Dallas, and one of our goals is to expand the presence of folk life across the cultural scene here in North Texas. So thanks. Hope you enjoy. Um, the outing and sorry for my my putting you on the spot but thank you I would, everyone give a big round of applause to Maya here has been with the organization now for five years she started off actually as a work study student uh, from the University of Texas at Austin who was an intern with us and she stuck around learned a lot about the organization is now a key member of our team so thank you Maya for all your dedication to the organization wanted to celebrate that so I'm gonna uh, now introduce our first group of the evening. Um, again, 
a lot of this work is about developing relationships. Uh, sometimes it can take years to kind of get things moving. Um, so we have on the stage with us today a group of folks who have gone through uh, Texas Folklife's apprenticeship program. So we're uh, introduced to a lot of these folks through other community members, including uh, Dr. Kathy Ragland, who's here with us this evening, at the musicologist, University of North Texas. Um, and we're able to get connected with members of uh, several traditional Chinese music ensembles. So that's what you're seeing here on the stage today. So we have, uh, this is kind of a collection of different different groups, so they don't, they don't have an ensemble name. So I've been asked to introduce them kind of individually. <laughs> We're lucky to have some guest artists here. We have uh, Daniel Chen, we have Eric Wang, we have Yushin Mei, uh, August as well, and then uh, Mei Gao also is joining us. So uh, both Daniel and Eric participated in our apprenticeship program uh, this last year, um, where they uh, focused on this instrument that they're playing today that they'll tell you more about, the Erhu. And then uh, Yushin Mei also did the program with us as well a couple of years ago. So sort of one thing has led to another. We've been able to connect with uh, you know, a larger group um, and try to support this music and uh, their ensembles in any way that we can. So I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Daniel to kick us off here. They're gonna play some uh, music for us. And then afterwards, we're gonna have a little conversation about um, what does the music mean, some of their background, and a little bit of talk about Texas Folk Life's apprenticeship program. So let's give it, a, uh, give it up, big round of applause for uh, it's a great collection of musicians here. I, I, I would just like to take the, this opportunity to say thanks to Charlie, uh, Alicia, Tom, and everybody working for this program. And uh, thanks to Miss uh, May and uh, Augusta and uh, Miss May Gao. And thank you for everybody support and help us to you know, uh, join this program. And thank you for everybody being here. And uh, we'll enjoy the music together. Okay, thank you. Let me introduce uh, my instrument. This is called Erhu, and uh, somebody also called it the uh, Chinese violin. It's a two-string fiddle, and uh, it's been popular in China for a long, long time. It's, it's uh, at least over a thousand years. So uh, Eric and uh, me played uh, the Erhu together for some years. So, and uh, we're gonna play some songs, uh, Chinese traditional songs, and uh, uh, another American traditional songs. And, uh, uh, this may play the hip-hop, and uh, that's also a traditional Chinese uh, instrument. And, uh, uh, and August played the uh, Ruan. A uh, bar, uh, bar, uh, a big, bigger one, bass run. Uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, may go plays the Chinese uh, percussion called uh, mu yu and also called uh, wooden fish. <laughs> That's a percussion instrument. And, uh, we're gonna play together. Thank you. So the first piece we're going to play is called The Beaming of Joy. This song is often heard at festivals, weddings, or celebrations because of its um, happy and positive energy that it gives out. So now please enjoy. Mm -hmm. 